Hello everybody and welcome to Thai Tiger Reacts. I'm your host of course, Thai Tiger. I hope everyone is doing grand. I hope everyone is doing well. And today we're diving back into Distober. Distober is of course the month of October and every single uh, video that we upload throughout October is looking back at diss tracks. Now of course some of these diss tracks may be older than some. Of course beefs obviously get squashed or get completely put to one side and forgotten about but it is still fun to look back and see what a Card. It also gives me a chance to check out some diss tracks I've never seen before, check out some diss tracks that I've been a long fan of, and yeah, just to see what's been going on over the last couple of years. This is Quadeca, um, who's actually done really well for himself since uh, this. Uh, this song's called Insecure, and it's a diss track towards KSI. I'm a huge fan of both. Uh, I've been a huge fan of KSI since Lamborghini first came out, and I've been a huge fan of Quadeca since... Uh, literally this, this actually brought me to Quadeca, which is the same for a lot of people. Um, this uh, all occurred because um, on the What's Good podcast, way, way back before, like, just as it started, KSI was a guest and he was talking about rappers and Randolph and KSI were talking about rappers, especially in the YouTube scene. And KSI said that Quadeca it isn't even in the top 10 or top 5, whatever it was. He's not even in the tops. Like. So Quadeca took this personally. Let's go. He's so insecure. Oh, nowhere to run, nowhere for more. Can I say what a way to start a song? Any song. Nah, it's like fuck that shit. Fuck yeah, that you, shit. You yeah, turn the bro. fucking beat, bro. KSI. Um, <laughs> if anybody wants to know, that someone's hiring in the background. I'm so sorry, you're angry. I love the way that he just like jumps off the swing, lands, and then the beat kicks in. That's really great. Hairline so fucked up, your barber is take heat. Oh! I'm 18, making main stages. You were 18 and a virgin in the basement, making rape faces. <laughs> okay, so five years ago, this song came out, and he's 18, which means he's only 23. Damn! Quadeca, baby, yo! And now you really think your music is the most heat? Oh, that's so profound, you changed, that's so deep. Shut the fuck up with the studio and record some FIFA. They torture people with your music out in North Korea. Oh my god, they tortured people with your music out in North Korea. Because obviously they still torture people in North Korea. We're not going to get into that, that's a different video. Got so big and made so many stats That your friends are terrified to let you know that you're wet. Now your homies are your yes man, egos over the max. Call sh- so basically saying there that like you know you're you're quite famous now you make a lot of money so obviously the sidemen which is he is part of a group called the sidemen uh big fan of them too uh you know um the sidemen aren't going to tell you you know that you're a complete lame-o that you're whack but she's not jj's pretty cool shane dawson i think this guy's a sociopath huh i saw you leave the studio with this god you don't make your own shit so how are you gonna discard at a I like that bar. I saw you leave the studio with this god. So that how are you going to diss quad? Because he's called Quadeca. Um, and this god apparently is a ghostwriter. I, I'm not saying he's KSI's ghostwriter, but apparently he's some sort of like ghostwriter. I don't know. Oh. He talked to Harry. That's funny. I'm small, I'm skinny, I'm white, I got a lisp, I'm awkward, and I'm fucking better than you. <laughs> okay, that's what that's pretty good. I like that. He's like, hey, I'm like he said, he's awkward, he's white, he's skinny, he's got a lisp, and he's better than KSI. To be fair, got Dak has got bars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's take it back to the past. Oh when you made a vid and people would actually laugh. And how you reacted to the past instead of how bad you could rap. Huh. It's actually sad how you don't know that you are actually bad. It's actually mad. I'm actually really gonna get into the band, but I never understand why you really wanna ban me. Yes, man, acting like a fan, but he keep you in a bubble that you live in like sand. Really, Quad? Quadeca? You're dissing KSI and you're throwing a SpongeBob SquarePants Sandy Cheeks fucking bar? I don't know whether to be impressed or disappointed. We're not gonna get into that. Must be hard. You're like my own fan. Can't 
Yeah, your music is not complex. You talk nonsense, mediocre with a god complex. Oh, you talk nonsense, mediocre with a god complex. Okay. You're delusional on drugs or you fuse it too. <laughs> you like the black Marina Joyce meets Fousey too. Huh? How you gonna call me awkward? You a big nerd. Make you turn blue in the face just like you Squidward. But to be honest, bro, I wish that I was still a fan. Logan Paul, come and film this. I think I just killed a man. Oh shit, okay, so this is way back when, um, Logan Paul and KSI weren't friends at this point, and, um, there, there was a time where Logan Paul filmed something he really shouldn't have, and I think the retaliation from that really kicked to Logan Paul in the ass, because I think, I prefer Logan Paul's content now to what it was, I never watched Logan Paul when I was younger, uh, I, I prefer Logan Paul now as a person than who he was beforehand, I think he was a bit of a douche beforehand. <laughs> Honestly, I quite like the little melodies, the little like harmonics she's got going there, they were nice. Sorry, I had to take a quick sip. Say if Kodak is watching this right now, he will 100% disagree with you and think he is better than you because of what, what you've put out. Yeah, and, and I'm gonna put stuff out and then I'm gonna blow him out the fucking wall. Yeah. Okay, so we got a beat switched up. Now, I will say two things. First off, I love the fact he actually took the audio from the podcast and actually implemented it in here. Just so you can get a little insight on why he's dissing KSI. But also, beat switch ups have been a thing for years. But beat switch ups on YouTube with YouTube music and diss tracks were very minuscule. This blew up the world, man. I knew so many people. I've watched so many reactions to this song when it first came out. So many people were so hyped over the fact that there was a beat switch up. Yeah, you ride away, can't get out of the water. Can't buy a good song for a dollar. I ain't never been the type to just follow. You like how much wood could a wood chuck chuck just shut the fuck up trying to stop us saying words, but Damn Bars. How the fuck do you even say that fast? Put down the mic, pick up the Elgato. Basically, what he's saying is stop making music and back to what you're good at, which is playing games. Elgato is a device you use to record gameplay. Put down the mic, as in stop rapping. Oh, the side men aren't even on your side. Basically, like he's saying, like, you know. I don't know what grade 5 is. What's grade 5? 10 years old? 11 years old, right? Something like that? I always remember as Ben 10 went into grade 5. And he was 10 going into 11. So you're either 10 or 11. Um, she's 18 now, which means by this point he's been watching KSI for 7, 8 issues. Uh, at this point, anyway. And uh, like he's saying, you know, I used to watch you a lot. And now you're cringy, basically. Oh. Oh. Him across the ponds. No, Lele. Lele Ponds is someone who we're not going to talk about because she's cringy as all hell. Sorry, I have a really itchy eye and my hay fever is adding up. Um, but across the ponds, because that's what uh, people say when we're talking about other countries. KSI is here in the UK, in my territory, where Quebec is American. So that's why you say across the ponds. My American friends say that to me a lot. Oh! I mean, that's still kind of true to that. <laughs> but to be fair, he does take more pictures that on. Again, he still hides both. Bro, I'm getting confused. The room is again really getting no views. When you said I'm done with music, we all wish that you were telling the truth. You had to go transform that so deep and you're so sick. KSI, you're an asshole and you transformed into a bigger prey. Ouch. <laughs> oh, damn. That, uh, I mean, yeah, to be fair on you, JJ did, or KSI, however you want to call him, 
He went through a phase of just being an absolute twit to everybody. Now he's alright. I think he's matured out of it now. Yeah, no, you can't get on my caliber. British bitches trying to shoot they shot, but then massacre. No, I'm too spectacular. I just can't. Um, he's mentioned a few things in this video we shall not talk about. And find your talent, sir. I think that ended back in 2012, just like that calendar. I like that, just like that calendar. I got you, Kotaka. I understood that bar. Like a mad door, just tell me the fuck are you rapping for? Bitch, I do not gotta go boxing and knock you and pop your whole head going back and forth. I gotta drive you a passenger. They ask could I hop on your track or verse? I think I would rather get stabbed by a dagger and die while I'm wearing some Maverick merch. Damn. That's what I mean. Like, I fucking, bro, that's what I mean. You can't beat me. I'm a fucking, like, unbeatable force. So he said at the end that he'll, uh, go, uh, you know, die of laughter over Maverick merch. Maverick being Logan Paul's, uh, clothing brand. Honestly, that was a very good diss track. There's a lot of straight punches towards KSI. He did mention some of the obvious things. His hairline, the fact he hides his girlfriend. You know, KSI used to be very cringy back when he was younger, just like most people are, but it got views, so, you know, that's basically what he's saying, is going back to where people, ed you entertain people instead of making music. Honestly, now, I don't think Quadek and KSI have that much of a beef, I'm not saying they're friends, but I wouldn't say that if they ever saw each other in person, they wouldn't say hi to each other. Um... I think there's some mutual understanding now, I could be completely wrong here, uh, but Quadek has definitely advanced in the music side of things. Wadek has done collabs with people like Crypt, which I think worked wonders with him. Uh, he was also on the YouTube Cyphers, which I can't wait to dive into that, by the way. We'll definitely do the YouTube Cyphers at some point. But yeah, honestly, absolutely really enjoyed this one. I was a huge fan of the Sidemen by this point. I became a fan of KSI when Lamborghini first dropped. Uh, that's how I found KSI. And then from Lamborghini, I backtracked and I watched all the previous videos, all of them, but most of them, of JJ, Simon, the Sidemen, and Deji. And then as time went on, you know, I kept up with them. I watched a lot of their videos. And then, obviously, diss track season happened with the Sidemen, diss track season happened with this, Dax got involved, etc, etc, Crypt even threw a couple punches, and it was just absolutely great, I loved it. So, the next video we'll be checking out is KSI's reaction, not reaction, KSI's reply, sorry, to this, which is called Ares, Ares being a god of war. Uh, so I'm very much looking forward to that one, of course. If you guys are enjoying Dystober, do let me know. Hit the like button, subscribe button, and notification bell so you guys don't miss another video. Please let me know down in the comments what reaction videos you'd like me to do next when it comes to Dystober. So what diss tracks would you like me to do? And of course, I shall see you guys in the next one. War of Passion, I love you all, and bye.